We got a chair. I'm sitting in the swivel glider recliner thing that we bought and I love it. It's so comfy. It has just all the abilities like it swivels oh, freak. <laughs> and it's just so comfortable. So I've been sitting in it and just reading some. It's really wonderful. It's actually just here in our sitting room for now because we have nothing done for his nursery because I don't know, it's just uh, a work in progress, but this is the first thing that we've really bought for his room and that's really exciting. I just tried to film a get ready with me while I update you on being 19 weeks pregnant and that failed miserably. I just cannot talk and put on makeup I poked my eye like 20 times with mascara. I'm gonna just sit here amongst all of his stuff. This is his nursery. It will be his nursery. You can only see like a little bit of the chaos, but it's pretty chaotic. I am 19 weeks and two days, I believe, because it's Friday and every Wednesday is a new week for me. Things have been, I don't want to say terrible this week, but I have had so much heartburn basically almost every day this week and it just kind of came out of nowhere because this whole time praise god it really hasn't been that difficult i haven't had really any heartburn and i was eating very spicy things in my first trimester and i felt fine even now into my second i have just tr i've been trying to be as careful as possible but for some reason my body really wants spicy food so i started feeling it this week and i had to just rein it back and it just felt so painful it feels like if i could describe it it's like lava like sloshing into your throat and it really hurts even like taking a sip of water sometimes burned the heck out of my throat that was starting to make me feel pretty down because all of a sudden I was just dreading eating food. That's been interesting this week. The last two days have been so much better and I think it's because I have just been eating more bland and things like Greek yogurt which suddenly feel like a dessert. It's just so good. My allergies have been pretty bad. I just constantly have a runny nose going through tissue boxes constantly but I did hear that when you're pregnant, you get congestion anyways. So it's kind of like a double whammy because where I live, we have, I feel like the worst allergies ever, ever, ever. That's been fun to navigate, but nothing too crazy in that department. And I haven't had a headache or a migraine in a while, probably a week and a half since I had my last migraine, which I think I talked about in my last video. So that feels like a huge blessing and I I don't want to 100% attribute it to this, but I've been taking magnesium glycinate and I heard that that's very helpful for migraines and I've just been just careful about what I eat and I think another part of it was that I was really dehydrated. So now I'm really trying to focus on drinking a lot of water and just liquid in general and I put liquid IV in my water which is just an electrolyte mix. I got some body armor the other day and that's really nice and that has a bunch of electrolytes so gotta stay hydrated. I've also been like craving just plain whole milk so we always have that on hand. That has also kind of like helped with my heartburn I think so so riveting so exciting heartburn sucks. That's been maybe the most physical symptoms of I guess being 19 weeks pregnant. <laughs> Everything has been really good overall. Mentally I feel a bit all over the place and I just have days where I'll just be sitting there and for no reason really I just start crying. I could like feel it coming. It's just like a little river that I can't control at all and I don't know why sometimes. That's been fun to navigate and it usually just ends up with me talking to people I trust the most and venting a little bit, whether it's to Darren, cause he's my husband <laughs> or, you know, my parents, I'm really close with them. So I always know I can talk to them. And my friend, Jessica, she's like one of my best friends. She's Darren's cousin. And uh, she also went through infertility and she just had her baby. So having her has been the biggest blessing in my entire life because Darren's whole family is so incredible, but I'm just especially, 
grateful for her just in this season that we're in right now. Yeah, mentally, it's been a little hard. I just feel terrified of having a baby and at the same time, so excited. I don't know if any of you watching have been through infertility and then had a baby, but I've been mentioning that it's like this weird, huge shift of you really pictured that you might not end up having children in your life. You just learn to be okay with it. It's kind of like a huge question mark lingering over you at all times, but you, you know, you still have purpose. Being a parent doesn't make you like better than other people. Having children doesn't make you better than anyone else. You're still so valuable if you never decide to have children or if you just physically can't have them, you're still so important and special and valuable. It's just been a huge shock because I just genuinely did not see this coming. And so now, you know, I'm sitting in my office and now it's gonna be his nursery and there's like baby clothes everywhere. I don't know if it's like nesting. I'm just trying to clean and prepare for him. It's a wild transition all of a sudden. Like your life changes in a matter of seconds when you see a positive pregnancy test. I don't know how else to describe it. We don't even have to talk about this for a lot longer because this video could be so long and you'll probably think I'm having a crisis, but I'm not. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what's going on. Um, my 20 week anatomy scan is this coming Wednesday. I am excited because we haven't seen him on an ultrasound since he was 12 weeks. I don't know. I'm a little nervous, you know, for anatomy scans, but I think it's going to be okay. And really quick, I'll show you guys my belly, like bump update even though I don't know if it's changed at all but let's see so here's the mess this is what I have so far <laughs> it's not super huge I'd say but um I'm feeling it more feeling more pregnant I do want to show you guys one thing that we bought ourselves and I didn't put it on the registry because I just thought it was gonna sell out really fast it's the Solly baby wrap <laughs> it is so freaking adorable. I have seen this for years since before we got pregnant and it just seems like such a wonderful thing to have when you have a newborn, a new baby, and you just want to be doing things or take them out or whatever. And so this is kind of how you wrap them. I'm obsessed with this pattern. Darren always looks so annoyed when I say I like checkered pattern. It's probably such a Gen Z thing and I'm obviously a millennial, but I don't care. So I thought I'd show you guys a little show and tell. I'm gonna end the video here because nothing else is really happening and I love doing these weekly updates and it'll be so fun to look back on. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you when I'm 20 weeks. <laughs> Bye.